Hey there everyone, my name is JW, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another awesome tank tutorial for you. But first, like always, we're going to mention this again. We're going to mention our tank yard slash discord server, where we can come join, hang out, and have fun. If you want to be in the tank yard and receive a shout out to start the video, you got to send me your gamer tag. And uh, what gamer tags am I looking for? Well, I'm looking for either your Java, Bedrock, Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo gamer tag, and you'll be entered into the tank yard. Now, where do you put these gamer tags? Well, you can either put it on the Discord server in the tank yard section, or down in the comments down below. And if you want to build the request to be built, uh, that's only exclusively on the Discord server. But let's get into today's tutorial. And today, we are building this. The Panzer III Aufs E, the, one of the most earliest ones, besides the A variant. This is one of the first successful versions of the Panzer III, with a short, I believe it's a, I think it's a 37, or was it upgraded to the 57? Or, or in German terms, a 5 centimeter, 5 centimeter versus a 3.7 centimeter? Uh, it's, it's weird, German. Uh, I'll have... Anyways, before this gets too long, let's get into the tutorial. Alright, so, downward we go, down the German line, to do more German tanks. Germany and America are seem to be our top two favorite countries. So, here we are at the Panzer III Aus E. It's a lovely little tank, I like it. It's one of my personal favorite tanks. So, let's get into it. So, today you'll be needing... Policy intersite, stone brick slab, stone brick stairs, stone stairs, stone slab, stone, and andersite wall. Pretty simple list. Unless you want to do it in a different camel color, then go right on ahead. Alright, so we're going to start right here with one skip, two skip, three skip, four skip. And one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Simple. Then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four of the stone brick slabs. And we'll put a fifth one on the back here, above, and then put two placeholders, and then raise up this other track. There we go. Next, we're going to put stone brick stairs there, 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 and there. Now, remember, folks, if I'm going too fast for you, you can always pause, rewatch, rewind, and do whatever you need to do to get this awesome tank into your world. So let us continue. So we're going to put two Paul's Intersites bricks right there. We're going to do row of slabs of stone brick slabs on top. And above each three of these slabs, we're going to bust them out. And followed by upside down stone stairs in their place as the rollers. And there we go. Track section is complete. You can get rid of the stone bricks. And the Paul change that, but keep our stone brick slab. We'll use that for cosmetic purposes. All right, so starting right here, we shall build the upper glacis and come in inside. Do the lower glacis and transmission and bottom of the hole. We shall bring this back. There we go. Now we're going to do the back of the engine compartment, upside down stairs and upright stairs, just like that. And we can fill in the interior in a bit. There we go. Alright, so starting here, we're going to do one, two, and then we're just going to skip and put a slab, slab, slab. There we go. We can bust these two out because that's, uh, in fact, we can just do a little thing like that because that's where you can work on the transmission and everything. Alright, so next, uh, to help with the viewport situation here, um, let's see. We shall put up to down stair like that so you can at least get in and view where you're driving somewhat. So we'll put that there and there we go. And we can just actually bring this all the way back and all the way back. There we go. We're going to put a slab here, slab here, upside down stair, upside down stair, two of them, followed by Paul Sanders that wall on each side, followed by one more slab. There we go. Next, we're going to put a full block right there, just as a temporary. So we're going to put our two upside down stairs, remove that, and place a slab on the inside right here. Next, a full wall. There we go. Then we'll put full blocks here, followed by slabs. And here's where you can separate the engine compartment. Put two more slabs. And next, we're going to put 
full block, followed by stair, stair. And here's where we're going to put four stairs. One, two, three, and four. Just like that, we're going to come on the inside of the vehicle and put a full block right behind that. So you can still get down in here and everything. Here, we'll put a stair. All right. We're going to break out these two right here. Put stairs in right there. It's a little bit more complex. Uh, try to flush them out a bit more. And that should do it for your base build of the Panzer III. Alps E. All right, so that's all done. Now we'll grab our cosmetic materials, which will be end rod, dark oak fence gate, nether brick fence, iron bars, oak sign, iron trapdoor, oak dark oak trapdoor, black carpet, and gray carpet, light gray carpet. We'll put the light gray carpet there. Uh, not there, and just two on the front and two on the back. One on this side and two on this side of the black carpet. Your fence, another fence is right there. Followed by two iron bars. There we go. Now we'll put a dark oak fence gate right there. This will give us our unique looking gun mantlet that I discovered. Followed by an end rod. There we go, which actually put it perfectly in line, kind of like the how the gun actually looks. All right. Oh, speaking of more end rods, we're going to have to have two more for the MG34s that are on here. I believe they're MG34s. Don't quote me on that. All right, so next, Dark Oak Signs. One right there for the driver to port. And one on each side of the turret. And three on the back. There we go. All right, so for iron trap doors, we're gonna put three on top right here. And I forgot we're going to need two more of the slabs. There we go. And we're gonna put another three right on the front transmission area of the lower glaciers. All right, next for your dark oak trap doors, we're gonna put one right there, one right there one up here. In fact, uh, here, this one could be like that. There we go. And put one right here, one right there, one right there, and one right there. There we go. Wunderbar. And now you could, this is optional, you can do ones right here as mud flaps, but they're not necessary. Okay, moving on. We're gonna need dark oak button, flower pot, glass pane, and item frame. Your flower pots are gonna go right here and here. There we go. Your buttons, one on the side, and one, two, three, four, five. Same over here, one on the side, and one, two, three, four, five. I'll also put two on the engine deck. Now for your item frames, we can go right here. Just like that and do that for your headlights now I did say we're gonna need to keep one of the stone brick slabs we could put one right there um, we could put a couple on the back right here and grab a spare road wheel and just kind of just decorate it if you want you could actually put the road wheel like right there just kind of beef it up decorate it if you want have stuff hanging off the side, equipment and everything. But that will do it. You have successfully made the Panzer III Alps E. German World War II, early World War II, medium tank. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. We're going to hit the subscribe button as well. I love the addition of my wonderful, wonderful subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much for doing what you do. Like and subscribing and sharing and all that. It really means a lot to me. It means a lot to the channel. It means a lot to the community. Speaking of community, don't forget to join the Discord server. Link is in the description. I'm on the Discord every day. Even though it might seem like I'm not. But you can message me and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. So if that sounds good to you, remember to like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!